Ooh, is this fashion related? What's, What's up, guys? I'm Chris. It actually received a, like one or two requests for this, and I um, was sitting in bed with Cynthia like I've a few weeks I've been dying ago. to watch this video. And this started playing. It was like, oh, I'm doing a closet tour. And I was like, wait a second. Is that uh, Heart of Angelista? And she's like, yeah. Well, I was, it, it like popped up on my feed. Like, and, you know, the yeah, and I was, YouTube algorithm. I was like, wait, wait, wait. We have to, we have to actually watch this. On and this the was channel. like months ago. So I've been this waiting like to watch this. This was months ago. This was months. So let's get into it. This is Heart of Angelista's closet tour, which I'm sure is going to be insane. Hi guys, so one of my most requested videos would be to take you on a tour in my walk-in closet. So this is what we're going to Her do Her living right room's now. like nicer than my life. I did one before for a magazine, but it wasn't... She has a... Uh, ...and as intense as now. A, a keypad to go in her so, a lock. Is that what happened? Then, yeah, she was like... Do, 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 do. Jeez. This oh, yeah. This is my walk-in closet. Welcome. She got a red... to make the carpet. Oh, I was going to say, is it red? Because I saw it in a Gucci store. That's and I it was pretty so cool. Cute and plus, it's just much, much more safer if there's a carpet so you don't slide. That's true. The handle right here true. is very special because this is actually... That's beautiful. The wow. House. And I really liked it, so we painted it to gold. Wow, that's very so, clever. So, as you can see, I had my scarves, my Hermes scarves framed. I think that's a brilliant idea. Most wow. of them are actually gifts from, like, my birthday or Christmas. And wow. since I don't really use them, I decided to put them on my walls. That's pretty. Okay, and welcoming us into the walk-in closet, you have Panda. Okay, she doesn't want to say hi, but later. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to my walk-in closet. <laughs> that looks like five stores put together. Yeah. So here we are once again. I like to keep all my blazers and the things that I wear for every day in this part. I just put it all together because sometimes it gets confusing. And of course, I like to keep all my white stuff. I am obsessed with anything wow. white. I just think it's my my uniform. So in case I'm lazy to think of white is so beautiful, I just I'm way too clumsy. Together, my go-to outfit. I always get it dirty. All white. I hate this. That's why I don't wear. We, do, but it's we don't wear white. That's why I, I mean, once white. in a while, we'll have. I wear dark like, colors really so clean, I can. And sometimes a hanger and the velvet hanger, which dirty. I got from a Japanese store, and it's super duper cheap. And what I like about it is you can put so much of your clothes, and it's still very thin, so you could like. Put everything together and there's yeah, those are the hangers super good for like have. to save space and stuff like that. Uh, so I those have like velvety, like nothing slides together. off, mm -hmm. and they're I super thin. From the blues to blacks. My favorite would be this top. I love Mark from Garner. He is a good friend, and I think what's nice about That's him nice. is that you know it's not super pricey and it's very dressed pristine and it matches with just jeans like so i love cute this red carpet i also am Dress. a sucker for anything lace white lace That's i pretty. just think it's so like neat looking and fresh especially here in the philippines we have such a humid oh, weather it's nice to be you know looking fresh and posh and clean all the time and then you have the blacks i'm very sentimental when it comes to my outfits like this top, which I love, I got this from a store, I forget, but this has been with me for 10 years and it's just wow. coming back. So I like to keep my stuff. But from time to time, I also like to freshen up and set things aside. Some I put in archives and, or some I sell or um, give away. Oh so gosh. this area is like more of also like the blacks, the nudes of the colors, and then we go back to white. I love white. And again, the inevitable. This makes this me feel like a big slob, the when way I keep my clothes. Clean, I just like to keep it's it. funny because it actually <laughs> bugs me that they're not okay, so perfectly also organized by shade I love. I think I wore this or color spectrum. My Milan trip. But this you don't even do that with your stuff. I do, actually. Sandro, yeah. In my closet, I do, yes, I I do organize by color spectrum. It's a French Where? Brand In my closet. It's it's like a super I've never seen that, John. When I got it's rid of a lot Zara, of my clothes, I stopped Zara, doing it as much like because it I didn't have know, as much clothes to do it with. But, but I usually I don't mind doing Zara. I I'll do color Zara. spectrum. Zara is my go-to. So when my shirts, I want I something up. like white polos, most of my polos are from Zara. Oh, I love cool. Zara. 
I love Zara. And what else do Zara I have is great. So these are my skirts. I'm getting frustrated because not much space. I'm Girl, you don't need any more clothes. Keep things as neat as possible. And <laughs> Facts. Like maybe I should have a sale one of these days. We have a sale, okay, so and then over here you could, yeah, I have buy more. my favorite dresses. So I love this dress from Carolina Herrera. I am making it a must she to collect. She makes beautiful so dresses. I'm working really, really hard to buy more. I have a pink, a very nice blush pink coming, and I also have it in green. I think it's a really nice cut. So I like the classic cut, although I do like to play around with my style and my clothes. Um, sometimes it's nice to be a bit quirky. You do the fuchsia pink, you do other colors. Here are mostly some of like my nice Chanel jackets. I love Chanel. I love vintage Chanel. So this is like a really nice trench. It could also be like a dress. That's the pretty. reason why I, I like, I work. love investing I like in some brands because you know, it's definitely something that will last you forever. So you Sounds can wear it over right. and over. So I get a lot of questions and a lot of people ask me if I repeat my clothes. Of course I do. And that's why for me, it's important to really buy quality clothes. Or I have, like, if I spend on clothes, I make sure that, you know, it's something that you can... Girl, you know you ain't wearing nothing twice. Time. What else? Mm. <laughs> 10 years apart. Bombarder dresses. <laughs> Again, Carolina Herrera, Del Pozo, Love. And, oh, and I forgot. I have a little secret compartment here where I keep my stuff toys. <laughs> uh -huh. I actually have more, but they're sleeping all the way in the back. I don't know. I guess I just can't really totally let go of my childhood. And hopefully, you know, I'm also very attached to my stuff toys. So I'm thinking maybe one day when I have a baby, I can give my stuff toys to my baby. Oh, and she's so cute. My sister and I, we share the same thing with stuff toys. So like I don't like Disney throwing commercial. them away. Although some, yeah. like the ones that you get from fairs and stuff, I've given that away. But there are certain ones that are very sentimental that I'd like to keep. Okay, so this island over here where I keep my sunglasses and my abu wots. I would love to have something have like that to keep sunglasses. Full of my other stuff. I never know where to put I my sunglasses. I don't like to keep everything out because I don't like it cluttered. I just put them so on. I just put them like on my little vanity my thing so yeah but i i used to have like a ton of sunglasses made, and i just never knew really where to put them it out to make i'm sure a sweat a lot of space sweats and sneakers type of gal stuff. so and over down here we have my <laughs> shoes so my rubber shoes she's talking like she doesn't these. have like a ton of heels in the basement i do right i have a, i used to love okay, heels so and wear here, them out all the time but now i don't where I put all my clothes I'm, I'm that I it. haven't really used. I'd rather wear sneakers. That I don't want to forget about. Sometimes you forget. So you put everything here. So I have nice stuff that I ordered like last year from Panama shop. But I like this really beautiful white suit from Prabal Gurong. And it's so beautiful. I just have to find the right event to wear it. Mm. But it's a suit. My oh, nice yeah. white. So I like to keep them. I love nice suits. Spaces, so it doesn't get dusty or whatever. And you know what's important? You have to have a dehumidifier here in the room. Oh, yeah. I put all my new stuff here. And Things get moldy. Um, over Good here, point. you have my shorts, my skirts. Sometimes when I get you know gifts or shoes, I put them over here. Collection. So you could put there. But That's perfume. I've Looks like perfume. I thought it was yeah, shoes. Organized and it's not From here. here. Oh, now and that it's here, I have my perfume. Yeah. Someone once told me that, you know, in our country, it's humid, it's hot, so sometimes, you know, your perfume expires right away. So you need to put it inside a ref. But since it's, I, you know, it doesn't really look to nice me. to have a ref somewhere here, I decided to put it right beside my aircon. So this aircon, we turn it off, obviously, to save energy, but sometimes I have to turn the aircon on to save the leather and the bags and some of the stuff. So I put it here, so hopefully I wonder if she has her air conditioner on, like, a program, you know, like... Yeah. Disaster. Oh no! Oh no! And that sucks! Yeah. My favorite area. The my shelf shoes. Fell. So I've been oh, collecting no. actually. Most of this stuff that you see here didn't just happen overnight. It's an accumulation of 21 years of collecting. I've always collected shoes. I have those. Why? Oh, yeah. Because I'm those tan Louis Vuittons. There's nothing wrong with being fighting, but I'm just saying I, is, so I love high. wearing high heels. I love nudes. Why do I love nudes? Because 
it gives the illusion that you look no, they're taller. No, they're still downstairs. Uh, it matches they're super everything. High. So uh, I like to invest. No, actually, on they're no, they're like in LA. Louboutins. Yeah, I thought I recognized those. I have the home. You can wear it all the time. Aren't those the ones that got scuffed? Why not? They're a little scuffed. You can wear it with anything. It matches everything. Casual. They're beautiful. Formal. Just way too high. Anything. So I love to collect the nudes. In fact, whenever I try to change my shoe, I also go back to the nude. So it's a problem already. It's addictive. Mm -hmm. But I do like quirky ones like this. This is my Louboutin ones. I've used this a couple of times. It's super comfy. No, seriously, it is without Emla. So I love that. Um, this is also cute. Louboutin always it's said he doesn't design his shoes to be comfortable. You no, know, it's nice to like change it. it up a bit. No, they're not Sorry comfortable. Well, for me, at least, they're not. What else do you want to see? Um, more shoes, more shoes. This outfit Beautiful over here. Though. I put that, I usually put my outfit, I plan them ahead of time when I have an event. So I have an upcoming Me too. launch I plan of my a product. Outfit. So I put this together. <laughs> I just bought that. It was on sale. So this is my next outfit for my event. And I'll show you more of the shoes. Surprisingly, this is actually the best one to walk in. Is that YSL? Hours. They have it in beige. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it in beige. Looks like a YSL. This is super comfy. Although it's chunky, so you have to really be careful with the kind of outfit that you wear it with so you don't look chunky or like it elongates you. So it's a mix of the length of your outfit or whatever. Makes a lot of sense. And this one is. For me, like I you think don't wear a very memorable pair dress. because I was wearing this actually when I attended Scarborelli like Fashion a bubble show, gum show and mm, the yeah. tour gown that this girl, I told that story I think a gazillion times, she was wearing, it got caught on this and it ripped. The model was not happy about that, but I, you know, it's a story. It's a conversation piece. Manolo's, yes, Cassidy, love. I love the length. I had um, I love the my heel get and I love caught it into super high my lace. Platform, but it's very I had like this thin lace one piece. Mm. Nice on the feet. And, uh, for That's a new edition nice. premiere. This. It was so. Where do I wear it? So embarrassing. When I'm wearing something that you can't see my shoes. So the heel like that is that. Okay, so over here. So this is like Did my. throw shade on those shoes? <laughs> so I like to have my coffee here, Ganyan. Wow, look at this lounge <laughs> area. <laughs> Whatever, you know, this is where I do my thing. This is where I lounge and, and look at my gigantic movie. closet. Thank <laughs> you. This is Aww. Panda. And here is another area where I have That's my beautiful. OOTD shots. Okay, so this she has what? is the area where Outfit I do of the day. my OOTD shots. Oh, OOTD. Um, I love this. It makes a lot of sense to have like an area where I you do an OOTD all the time. Yeah. About over here. That's cool. It just makes me happy. Uh, I chose the wallpaper because I love Paris, so it reminds me of Paris. It does and definitely have a Paris vibe. Uh -huh. I like that. I like the wallpaper a lot. Full of colors and all the little things and cute, beautiful things that I like. It is my escape, my happy place, and I love spending time here. So it's this so one. Cute. I know. Um, I'm just thinking that. Yeah. I also got it in one of the fairs that I went to in Paris. It's a vintage print ad of the Hermes scarf. And here, is she a, we have she's my like little a big YouTuber? shampoo. Like this is a, this, that's her career. YouTube? Especially with my line of work. Do you I know? I probably her? wasn't. I don't know. Or doing the thing that I'm doing, I wouldn't have this. I don't this, think that she is, is a YouTuber. Because I do my treatments for TVCs here, or whenever she just I'm did this video, just because I do it here. I just. I'll find she out said out she had requests after, after this okay. video is done. I'll find out the Rope, nature of the video of and who she is. Um, and here we have. We don't know so anything like going into these things, so she's asking parts. me questions that I, I don't know the answers to. <laughs> like Sorry, guys. I'm just... so I keep them Maybe you could tell us in the comments I love I love who Heart Evangelista and is, what she does. I love and scarves. Although we will be finding out right after we watch. Yeah. So just keep giving me but so thank you so much. Do you know anything <laughs> that maybe we won't find <laughs> immediately? Write it down below in the oh, comments. <laughs> oh, yeah, and a little sneak peek. This is actually my painting for LMX Camiseta. Uh, oh, we decided wow. to come out with my own line of silk scarves. That's very cool. That's pretty. Okay, so another amazing idea. Put it in a frame and give it for Christmas. My friends, you know what you're getting for Christmas. Okay, so I have my clutch bags here. 
course, I have my favorite Sequoia bags. I also have these amazing local bags. This is from Farah Abu. And this is, oh, this is also a favorite. So these plush bags are from Vintage City. I love that, especially when you're attending like a beach wedding or what. And my classics, my Chanel bags. This was given to me by my mom a long, long time ago. That's a super Super classic. vintage, vintage yeah. <coughs> I think my mom has one of those. So I have my Chanel bags. This is also... That's pretty. Love. I like that color. This is also super cute. I love this. I wore this for Fashion Week. Oh my god, I lost some studs. <laughs> I also have like quirky bags from Oh, Kate that's cool. Spade, Carolina Herrera. Love that. And this is actually from Maison Love Marie. You can follow my Instagram. That's shop Maison Love Marie. And this is my design. So this is my bag. And it has wow. this really lovely velvet finish inside. And that's pretty. Yeah, it's like, it's so hard to look for the chain, but anyway. I finally completed it and this is going to be launched very soon. Nice. What else do I have? Yes, you have my painted bags over here. This is still a prototype. Um, Ooh, also quirky. with the same pink velvet. Doggy snoring. Love that. Mm -hmm. So I'm still developing that. And of course, my collaboration with Sequoia. This is the heart bag. And hopefully we are working on another batch they're different colors, so that's something to look forward to. I like and that over backpack. up here, it's just like all the bags. Like LV backpack, traveling classic bags. Yeah, I was Big looking at, at this her is Louis Vuitton stuff. Nice this was my mom's, actually. She had it I like the Louis Vuitton duffels, they're really nice. It's vintage. It's the black beautiful, one. they don't have it anymore. So I had to fix that before because it got like really bad stuff on it. And you have the Sequoia bag. And over here, I'm going to share There's more? Bit, just a little bit of my love for Hermes bags. I have my painted bags, so before I started to paint for other people, I actually had to paint for myself because I needed to make sure Dude, you know how much work. those bags so are? So let me get my She painted bag. on that bag? This is actually the lizard skin bag that I was talking about during the Harper's Bazaar shoot. She the means... oil just landed right here and right there. So hence the flower and the bird. But this oh, is... Wow. The bag that started she painted on it because it was it got messed would, up. Oh practice. my gosh, I would have, I would have like. I was just practicing on it. She was just practicing on that. And if there is any bag that I would save, there's a fire. Definitely my Himalayan. I do not know how I can buy this again, but it was a good investment. So eventually, if my daughter if they want to auction the bag when I'm hundred two and I'm not here anymore, this is the bag. This is also wow. very cute. I wonder this how much is it's worth. First pop. It's a line that those bags are really expensive. It dresses up your 30, bag. Thirty forty grand. But it's just probably jacket, more. So you could just put it like. Oh look at that a little so jacket for your purse. Raining. Yes, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but you know, if you want to protect your bag because That's you don't clever. want the oil French fries thing to happen again, this is what I like to put instead of like putting that. it. Um, I think it's clever. A plastic bag, but you know what? I actually just bring like a really cute nylon bag, uh, the one that you could roll up. You buy in the groceries, and I put it in my bags when I travel. And I think that's still the best way to protect your bag. You just dump it in there when it's raining. It's not bulky, but this is another cute way to dress up your bag. Over Maybe here, if it was just like a plain is black. Where I spend. I don't think I like the time, this is where pearls I or whatever that was on so there. I have my books. It's a good idea though. All these like, little trinkets and pictures of special people and this is where I put all my makeup. I've given up on makeup kits actually. Wow. We've got to dial one You need one of those. Because this is going to be for another rolling, rolling, rolling My cart. five products that I use. No, it's okay, just so clever. Here, you got your rolling cart. This is like my little <laughs> I do not have a lot of makeup. Don't you just love the plants? Look at the plants. Just They're some so mascara. Good. And... They're so you should get a lot of skincare products. <laughs> yeah, I'm into I've given skincare. Up and it was pretty expensive. I love skincare. Changing the plants. But I'm not too the I'm not into makeup. Really hit the plant so much so it just dies all the time. So I've given up and I love it. I love fake, makeup looks and Instagram. when I get my makeup Plus done I love it, but I here, I can't do it myself. This is where I work, I edit, I sometimes paint. So I like to be surrounded by all these colors That's really and nice. things that I worked hard for things that inspire me, things that, you know, push me to work even harder. This is like my creative space. I like the wallpaper so there too. It's pretty important yeah. to have your own little space where you could do whatever you want to do. Listen to music, 
take pictures, edit, and everything. And I have all these my, pictures. My little my home gym is I love is that for me. Games. I love pictures. <laughs> and yeah, so you have my markers here and all these stuff. Things I need to do, things I need to sign. And what else can I show you? I put my envelopes here, my letters and whatever. Oh, I'm supposed to give this to my twins, hmm. uh, the kids of cheese. This is cute. Letters to my future self. I should put that out. But I oh, usually nice. have this more organized. But yeah, I put all my letters here. And I love collecting um, cards and stuff for my loved ones. I love writing letters. So we put that there. And this is pretty cute. My husband gave this to me. Aww. Yona, drop. Do the dog. Aww. <laughs> that's cute. So, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's my walk in closet, my office, my space, my little corner of the world. And your humble abode. Inspired, so, I hope it inspired you, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed my little tour. She's that's so adorable. That's so, cool. so, for more vlogs and for more videos, you could subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video. This so she does have a channel. With the next one. So she is a YouTuber. I gotta work. Let's take a look. Wow. That was... That kind of reminded me of, um, I don't know if you saw... What's his name? Jeffree Star. He, he has a, a, a closet huge, tour huge closet. or whatever. With all the Hermes bags. It's insane. So I could never buy it. Two point one one million subscribers. One of those bags. I would uh, I would just keep it in the closet. I wouldn't even use it because I'd be scared to like mess it up. I'm too clumsy for those kind of things. So obviously she's been on YouTube for a while, so uh, Okay. Influencer. I don't know where she got her Oh, there we go. There's a description on her channel, so now we can find out exactly about her. Love Marie. There you Ong, are. Ong Paco. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Is he Ong Paco her Escudero, name? known in the Philippine entertainment industry as Heart Evangelista, started her career at the age of 13 as a commercial model and actress. Her 20 years of hard work paved the way for to numerous acting and hosting projects and awards. Oh, nice. Through the years, she has evolved from being a professional actor and television host to a sought-after international and local brand endorser, sold-out visual artist, best-selling author, fashion influencer, beauty icon, and entrepreneur. She is one of the country's most recognized celebrities and advocates for children's health and education, individuals with special needs, and animal welfare. All good causes. I love her. Children and animals. You, you won my heart. <laughs> Very cool. That's really, really, really nice. That's great. So good for her. So actor and host turned um, icon. Very cool. Very, very cool. I liked her closet. Yeah. I want to do a closet like that, except it's going to be my bat cave. So you're going to have like my motorcycle gear. A bat cave, yeah. With dramatic overhead lighting. With dramatic overhead lighting, and I've got my bat suit, and then there's like going to be a door to yeah. the vehicles the cars and the bikes that's not a closet bubba that's a that's a bat cave it's a man cave it's a bat man cave it is and a i'm gonna be a part a of that because that i love all that <laughs> you can't say that this is a pg video oh uh, sorry <laughs> but that was that was great yeah sookie walk-in closets are nice it just gets a little you porky. Well, it's not. Well, she snores, but she also. She also snorts. She also snorts while you know just walking around mm -hmm. and like sniffing. She sounds like a little pig. So mm -hmm. instead of Yorkie, we call her a Porky. Mm-hmm. Anyways. She's getting a bath today. She's getting a bath. She's gonna today. be very mad at me. Let us know what you guys thought of the video in the comments down below. If you I have any. I think this is our longest video. So far. If you have like, any any more requests, this was a very nice change of pace. We do yeah. watch a lot of um, singers and performers on this channel, but we yeah, watch we everything. Music. So we would love to watch um, more different things. Um, and this was a great change of pace. So we'd love to see more things like this. So if you have any requests, leave them in the comments down below. If you like the video, 
Please make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. We'd really appreciate it. Yes, we would. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks, guys.